Thanks for staying with us right here on Sunrise as we continue this morning. According to the Department of Health, circumcision reduces the risk of contracting HIV by 60% in men. And men do circumcision for different reasons, uh, with others wanting to keep clean and others to protect their partners. But we're going to find out more what other reasons, of course, are around that. This morning, we're talking about the importance of doing circumcision and the benefit of it. To talk more about that, we're joined in studio by Scandal Actor uh, Mudupi and better known as a Mangi Nyati on our very favorite scandal and also healthcare practitioner uh, Dr. Kumulani Moyo. And remember you can be part of our conversation by giving us a call on 011 447 1742 or 011 1 Your comments are also welcome on our Facebook as well as our Twitter pages. Good morning gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now we were chatting uh, about this uh, of uh, and um, yeah. this is your journey uh, yeah. that you're inviting us to be part of yeah. uh, and then and that and your doctor is here. Doctor, I was saying that you know, if we were to be go back like thirty years ago, uh, you know, in the in the recent times we've seen the rally and the call to, to to encourage men to get circumcised for some of the reasons that have been mentioned. But thirty years ago this is not a conversation that we were, we were having uh, no. as South Africans. Mm -hmm. But True. there were always illnesses uh, around men's reproductive health and, and, and things like that. Why are we having this conversation? Um you're right. I mean men have been circumcising for a very long time. For different reasons, I think um, part of it, the health benefit of circumcision has been no, have been known. That's part of it, but um, a lot of it has to do with the religious, traditional, cultural um, uh, connotations that mm. are associated with circumcision. So, a lot of circumcisions have been done for for all those reasons, really. But now we know. But the health benefits were always there. The, the, we yeah. Yeah. Yes, I mean the health benefit are hygiene. Uh, reduction in risk of STIs, um, reduction in the risk of other, you know, diseases associated with the foreskin, mm. as well as um, reduction in penile cancer and cancer of the cervix in the in the female partner. Mm. But um, a potential game changer is the reduction in transmission of HIV, mm. and you know, South Africa is facing a huge problem on that. So um, that's why we're having this conversation because it's a, it's a, it of its role in the um, prevention of transmission of HIV. Okay. But, so uh, now but, but okay. also just Penny, I mean going back, you know, as the, the 30 years ago, mm. some diseases we didn't have. You know, and 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 as we go, you know, we evolve. Diseases also evolves. Infections evolved. You know, there's there's new things that are coming up now. And back then we were just doing it for traditional, you mm. know. Uh, but the benefits were there. And now we've got post cervical cancer, which is something that's affecting a lot of women. Mm. You know, especially now a lot of black women. We're starting to talk about. Well, it, it's always know? been yeah. the biggest <laughs> killer of, of yeah. black women. Uh, yeah. You know, and, and but the, but the question is, uh, I think, let's get back to you in terms yeah. of like, why did you take this journey? Um, you know, at eighteen, at yeah. twenty-five. You know, yeah. depending on where, where where you grew up culturally, what was the conversation about well, that? And because yes. in Donaku Kas, yeah. you know, and Kemotswana mm. Wako You know, we uh, I never went to the mountain the same way as you know, but but I live alone, Bako Pulukwane and Bako Kese. But for me, the biggest reason behind this is you know, I hated those zing ads. Mm. I hated them. Oh, the ones that were on TV. I hated so them. <laughs> you know that whole zing, zing. Yeah. It just, it just kind of made us men feel, you know, men who were not circumcised like myself, mm. feel like we were not real men. Mm. You know, and 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 for me, I, I was like, let me come up with something that's gonna, you know, that's gonna be more of a movement mm -hmm. than just than just for, you know, you're not circumcised. Yeah. Right, but the reason why I did it, it I got something from those zinc ads, mm. which was the cervical cancer issue, mm. you know, and, and for me, that's when I started researching, or how can I, you know, infect my wife with, with, with cervical cancer? Mm. Mary how can you, yeah, how yeah. can you prevent that? You know, how, how can, can you prevent educate? Yeah. And so when I learned about the HPV virus, which mm. sits around the foreskin, you know, and you never know whether you have it or you don't. Mm. So I was like, I'm going to go and do this. And I called my wife in and I said, Bon, when I didn't and she was like, no, 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 I'm cool with, you know, I don't, I don't care whether you're on a car, no, no, but there's a cervical cancer So you, cancer so you were inspired by the by cervical, by cancer. By the cervical yeah. cancer. Not part. the HIV the prevention. Okay. Yeah. okay, so that's a very in, in interesting aspect of it. Do you, do you think introducing that there's a, with, there's health benefits, not just for yourself as a man, yeah. uh, but for your partners has sort of like, can change mindset in, in, in this case? Uh, that's true. And, you know, we, we went into this, like I was saying, the, the conversation that started uh, you know all this and making I mean the buzz mm. has been about its potential for HIV prevention mm. but a lot of men are actually coming up for other reasons they're making it a, a healthy 
uh, a healthy Decision. lifestyle choice, mm -hmm. you know? Mm. So like Kahiso is saying, is not even mentioning that um, I wanted to prevent HIV, mm. but because we, we know there are a lot of health benefits associated with the mm -hmm. yeah. being circumcised. Mm. So, so also, you know, the, the benefit on the, on the women um, is quite important. And also the support that women give um, to men to get circumcised, first of all, wives and spouses but also and girlfriends and lovers <laughs> yeah. Yes, thank you. yeah and also for for, for young men their parents um we, uh, mothers um can play a role in mm. this um well it's a discussion i'm have i've been having with my son for the past three years uh -huh. and uh, that's yeah. a different experience <laughs> for me um so uh, guys so let's talk about you could have gone to dr moyer privately yeah. Yeah. done it yeah. nobody would have known yeah why um, you, you gotta understand where you are, mm. you know, and, and I think growing up in this industry, I've, I've started understanding, you know, um, where I am. Your role. Yeah, my role. And, 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 and I've got a responsibility, you know, to, to influence other people. We've got 4 million viewers every mm. night. We've got 20 million viewers yeah, all over Africa. Yes, yes. So this is an opportunity for me to say, Asambe in Masocha, let's do the right thing. And to, for me to change the world and, mm. and to save lives, mm. you know, I, I could have literally gone private mm. and I thought about it. Mm. And I thought about the memes that were going to be on, on, on social media. Mm. I thought about, am I embarrassing my wife? Am I embarrassing yourself, my family? But yeah. I was like, listen, this is the right thing to do. Yeah. And I need to be a role model for my daughters mm. that don't need to be circumcised, mm. but I need to be a role model for them as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there's, there's always, um, a, you know, a challenge talking about circumcision and I can talk you know I'm raising my son not with their dad mm -hmm. so yeah. I had I started talking with uh, with my son because I'm a Mupulana woman I understand yeah. the culture of initiation or whatever mm -hmm. so I've been talking to my son about this for he's 11 for the past three four years at yeah. first he was not <laughs> hearing it and finally they say he's like I want to go I want to go, you wanna yeah. go. <laughs> the embarrassing part about it talking to those women to men men yeah. themselves you know you mm. talk about growing, growing up in the township it's it's not touched yeah, it's not touched. I mean, one, it, it, that's why I said right, li lives have changed. You mm. know, um, there's, there's single parents out there. You know, um, this whole thing of us not being able to talk about it. Mm. Uh, uh, no, mm. you know, so what happens to, 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 to single women who are raising sons? Yeah. You know, we, we need to have this conversation. Yeah. I mean, mm. we look at HIV, which was something that we never spoke about. Mm. It was taboo to speak about it. Mm. And by us now talking about it, the rates have gone down. Mm. And circumcision is something that we need to talk about. Mm. You know, Arsena Malala, no. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about that. When, when, when uh, patients come, come to you and it's an uncomfortable conversation to have, mm -hmm. um, how, what sort of like, Charity. I don't know if it's appropriate. <laughs> How do you okay. make them comfortable? So, you know, there are many reasons why men don't want to come for circumcision. Mm -hmm. So they 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 go through this um, procrastination. Mm -hmm. When am I gonna do it? Because most of men of the men out there have decided mm. that they want to do it. Mm. But they're still yeah. procrastinating for reasons such as um, pain, yeah. they think it's very painful. Mm. Yet it's really not that bad. If you think about it, it's the same pain that you'll get when your mother gives you a pinch <laughs> when you're being naughty. <laughs> yeah. It's it's not comparable to pain like childbirth, you okay. know? Okay. Most definitely not. Yeah. No. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a call uh, on <laughs> the line this morning. Tabo, you're calling from Johannesburg. Your comment this morning. Hi, Pina. How are you? I'm good, and you? Good, good. Get Tabo Masita. Mm. Oh, our very own <laughs> Tabo Masita is on the line. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, okay. Tabo. Uh, that's so big, by the way. Mm. Um, I did my circumcision two years ago, okay. and I was 31. Okay. And the pressure that you get from, like, why are you doing it, Olomokolo, why didn't you do it when you were young? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it's nice that we encourage men to go out there. doesn't matter if you how old, but do it for your health. Mm -hmm. Because or not at the, we're not from that culture, or if you must go, go tabbing and do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you get it no now, Hori. You must go now. Do it now for your health because you need to be safe and everything. Mm. And a big ups to Mangi for doing it because this is encouraging to other men out there, Hori. Yeah. You don't need to go to NW, you need to do it. You can yeah. go to the clinic. You can do it to go to the And it will help you in the long run. Thank you. Let's, Thank you, uh, let's take a uh, uh, Tepiso. There you have it. Mm -hmm. uh, Tepiso on the line. Thanks for holding. Uh, from Katleho, your no. comment or question? Tepiso? Uh, it's not a piece of. Okay, who are we speaking to? Uh, let's just say a monkey. Let's just say a monkey. Okay. Oh. Really? Go. <laughs> All right. Is it a piece? Are you still there? Okay, he's gone. <laughs> you, you know what? Um, <clears throat> when you uh, the, the the 
back to the to the campaign, but just also to what Tabo said before we move on. There's the cultural aspect of mm -hmm. it, but I think even culturally there were health benefits. We just never trumped that because there yeah. was no connection between our culture and medicine to yeah, be able yes. to explain it yeah. in the sense that makes sense in 2017. You know, Penny, there's, there's another thing that's very important. Um, our cultures are important. I'm and a cultural have, man. Yeah, I'm cultural, amazing. you know, and and it's just a pity we don't do this thing. But what we've picked up with Dr. Kum is that, you know, there's a lot of men who have went go, 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 le bulong, go mm. tabbing and did it mm -hmm. traditionally. Mm. But you find out they were partially, they were partially circumcised. circumcised. Ooh. You see what I'm so saying? It wasn't done properly. So it wasn't done properly. So mm. they still have a little bit of foreskin, and 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 that can still carry the HPV virus. Yes. You know, and 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 just to explain, in you know, this this full head, mm -hmm. you know, and then the skull cap. The skull cap. And <laughs> some skull caps are natural. You yeah, know, for yeah. me, I'm skull cap, yeah. and that's why when I went. You know, and then I asked her, you know, can I do this thing? And yeah. they said, you didn't, you didn't have to. You don't have enough for skin. Okay. I must say, I, I, I've had, I remember once being scolded for having this conversation on radio when the Minister of Sports we're actually had it. And they're like, you mustn't say that we're as a culture. It, but this needs to happen. We are having yeah. the conversation. So, um, like I say, the, the whole topic plays into someone's culture, someone's religion. Mm. But what we are trying to do is we are working with religious leaders, with traditional leadership to say, um, we can integrate the medical procedure into it and still maintain the cultural aspect because those cultural aspects are good yes. for the well-being of the person because your culture and your religion is what defines who you are. Mm. But we still need to integrate the medical male circumcision within the context of that person's culture. Mm. Um, regardless whether you're Jewish, you're Tosa, you're Ndebele, you're, you're Shangani, you're, Shangan, you're Bedi, Bedi, or you're Shona. Shona. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be. Okay. So obviously you're working with organizations that have dealt with uh, this conversation because yeah. obviously there's the act and then there's the information. Mm -hmm. How are you supporting that? Look, uh, when I came up with this, uh, I decided I'm going to go to Right to Care, mm -hmm. you know, because they dealt with the male circumcisions and that's when I met with Dr. Kumbu. And, you know, there's there's other, you know, organizations Within that, the yeah, there's Chaps, there's Brothers, Brothers for, for Life, life yeah. you know, and and just all of us came together just to make this campaign really work. And and I'm hoping that after Saturday that we continue to do this, you know. Okay. And and this has just been amazing. We we were chasing 2,000 guys, mm. but funny enough, we've we've gone over that. Uh, we were at KZN just last Saturday, mm. and there were guys who were like, I'm not going to work for this Saturday. Mm. I want to do it now. 47 guys did it on the spot. On the spot. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so Saturday is D-Day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.